You know, I say this all the time, but it, I, I really do believe it just depends on time and score, situation, scenario. You know, I don't predetermine what I'm going to do. Well, Jason Tatum delivered again for his team, this time with a 44-point performance against the Charlotte Hornets. The Celtics led by four at halftime, but in the third quarter, the Hornets closed the gap and looked to take over. But the Celtics were able to pull away early in the fourth to finish with a 115 to 101 victory to grab their fourth straight win. Now Tatum has logged 98 points over the last two games, which ties the Celtics record for the most points in consecutive games, which was set by none other than Kevin McHale. You know, I say this all the time, but it, I, I really do believe it just depends on time and score, situation, scenario, you know, I don't predetermine what I'm going to do, um, you know, when I'm going up the floor. It's not just react to whatever the defense is doing, uh, and then I, I react. We talk about relying on our defense as a team, but to always have a guy you can kind of just go to, put it in his hands and let him figure it out. Uh, not only the scoring aspect, it's what he the, the attention he draws and the wide open shots he gets for everybody else, but obviously he's been on a crazy tear right now. Um, he's getting the matchups he wants and getting to the spots he wants and getting the shot he wants. And so uh, that's a huge luxury, obviously, to have one guy that can do that, but everybody else is feeding, them off, feeding off him as well. It's been fun to watch. Um, personally, on this side, I, I enjoy it. Um, I mean, super talented. Um, but everything he's doing is like within the offense and um, he's doing a good job of finding guys even when they come with the double team and stuff like that. So um, it's been fun to play with and, and fun to see. The Celtics will now head back to Boston for a two-game homestand, which begins on Friday night when they host the Detroit Pistons.